and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another cool and fun tutorial. Got another steam engine for you. This one is the Union Pacific Challenger. Very, very similar to the Union Pacific Big Boy. If you have not watched or built that one, it is in the description. This one will be very, very easy if you have built the big boy. So let's jump on over to our flat world and let's get started. All right, guys, so here we have the challenger in the middle. We've got the per marquee on the outside. This is the very first one that I made. This was the Polar Express. Uh, again, I've got them all sitting here for reference. The uh, per marquette is supposed to be 30 meters. It's really close. It's like 29 meters, I think. And uh, we overscaled the big boy by a little bit. It's 50 meters. It's supposed to be 40 and then this one here in the middle the challenger is about six or seven meters shorter so it's right around 47 again so it's slightly overscaled uh thanks to commander omega <laughs> taus trackside tuesdays uh made a really nice comment on the big boy tutorial today uh saying that i could just shift a few things in the front and uh, and make it a four by six by six by four and uh, I could make the Challenger out of it. It was very, very similar. I did not know that, so I looked it up really quick, got some pictures, and made the adjustments. So this is very, very close to the big boy. A lot of it is uh, pretty much the same. Uh, a few things that I changed uh, along the top here, and of course the, uh, the wheel setup on the bottom. There are three big wheels here, three here, instead of the four and four. And then I've got just a little bit right here just to make it slightly different. I've got some numbers on the side that I didn't have on the big boy tutorial. But I did link in the description of that tutorial on the um, video that I used to make these numbers. Uh, so if you want your numbers just like I do on my train, you'll go have to go to that video and check it out. And then figure out how to do it in the black and yellow. Anyways, back to the Challenger. The materials that we're using are the same as the big boy. I'm using the nether brick, nether brick slabs, and nether brick sla stairs. You can switch all these out for cobblestone if you're not using my texture pack, which is M4K. Link is in the description. Getting a little hoarse here, guys. I've been recording all day, so just bear with me. I've got the cobblestone wall and mossy cobblestone wall. I've got stone bricks, stone brick stairs, and stone brick slabs. Uh, I've got cobblestone stairs. I've got cobblestone block and uh, nether brick fence. A cage of fence gate. Again, you can switch these out for uh, whatever uh, dark fence gate that you have or fence uh, fence posts. I've got gray wool. I've got some ladders. I've got a torch, which is a 3D texture in my texture pack and my light. If you're on PC, you can pull stacked gold's head. Uh, it's either a command or you can do it with a command block and it will give you the player head stacked uh, what did I say? Stack gold, <laughs> stack gold Z, which is a gold block that you can use for your uh, your bell on the front. So, anyways, that is what we're going to be using for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So we're going to be starting with our block of another brick, and we're going to put two down just like this, and then we're going to grab some stairs and put some stairs in the front and the stairs on each side. Again, if you built the big boy, this is going to be very, very, very similar. When we get to the uh, the tender on the back, or the tender, I'm just going to grab the part from the big boy and just edit it back in so I don't have to rebuild it. But anyways, we're going to go ahead 38 slabs behind this here. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 38. All right, we're going to grab our cobblestone stairs and we're going to put in some wheels. All right, we're going to skip one slab and on this slab here, we're going to put an upside down stair here and here. We're going to skip one more uh, slab and we're going to put another set in here just like that. Of course, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to do one set and then we're going to put some slabs right across here. One, two, three. Go ahead and finish building the wheels up by putting your stairs on top just like that. All right, let's build the bigger wheels. We're going to skip two slabs here in the middle and again, we're going to go with the upside down stairs. This time we're going to put a block of cobblestone in the middle and one stair just like that and we're going to do that two more times. There's two, and there is three. Now all we have to do is just build that up on top with your cobblestone, and then go in the middle, and whatever you wanna use for the hub, I'm using a light gray wool, right here in the middle. <laughs> all right, I stripped the top back off. I got a little ahead of myself. I need to finish it off with the stair pieces just like this. All right, grab your slabs and on the second wheel right here at the bottom on the top of this hit box on the lower piece of cobblestone put in two slabs just like that all right we've got three slabs in the middle one two three and then we go back and we build the exact same thing just to the inside of that so we've got three sets there's one there's two 
in there is three and put your hubs in the middle surround it with cobblestone put one on top and then finish off with your stairs all right go back to your slabs again on the up, uh, upper hip box here and here and grab your stairs again skip two more spots here and do the back set of wheels here skip a spot here skip a spot and it should look just like that you should have two pieces left over when you are done do the same thing on the other side all right so you should have the other side done go ahead and grab your stairs and we're gonna put one piece here go back to your solid block and put one here and we're gonna run that right down the middle all the way to the end and we're gonna stop one block short Again, leave one block empty right there. Go back to the front, grab your stairs, and we're going to put two stairs on the sides of that first block that we put down. So it looks just like this. Spin around to the back side, and we're going to put upside down stair piece here and an upside down stair piece right there. All right, on top of these right here, we're going to put three sets of stairs. So put one facing front, put one in the middle. It should pull it to the side, and then put one facing the front like that. So they should wrap around each other. In other words, that's what we're trying to do. So we're going to put one right here here and then back to the front and they should all turn upon each other and those are finished all right back to your slabs and we've got three right here in the middle on the lower part of the stair one two and then three and then we've got a stair that faces the back part of the train and then the front part of the train so that makes a little upside down in then we've got a solid block and then a stair upside down and in between the gaps here here and here and then connect with slabs going back across the top it looks just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. So again with our slabs right here in the middle. One, two, two, three. You got your stairs going this way and then this way. Solid block here. We've got upside down stair piece in between and just like that. And connect with your slabs going back. So it looks just like this. All right, back on the other side. We're going to put three stair pieces upside down. So go ahead and put one in the middle. Set one here. Set one on the end and then set this one back in the middle again so it wraps around uh, itself. Same thing on this side. All right, so it should look like that. All right, take your stair piece and again, upside down. One going this way, one going that way. Solid piece, upside down stair piece. Here, 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 and here. Connect back through with your slabs. Do the same thing on the other side. So again here, facing the back facing the front solid piece upside down stairs in the middle and then back to your slabs just like that all right and then back here to finish this piece off we're going to have an upside down stair piece right here and right here and we've got upside down piece going right here a piece right here two slabs oops those are upside down stairs here and here and did i do that yeah these are stairs also And then we've got two slabs coming out each side. One, two, one, two. And then take your cobblestone wall piece and put about three pieces coming out the back like that. All right, back to the front. We're going to skip this block right here, and we're going to put three across the middle just like that. Then we're going to go right behind that and make five. So there's four, and one on this side makes five. Back to the middle, and we're going to go by three, and we're going to take this all the way back to the first part of these sets of wheels just like that. All right, back to your slabs, and we're going to put one two three and actually this is going to be a solid piece right here and this is going to be a solid piece right there so we've got two slabs covering that up and two slabs covering this up and then we can go to the inside right here and the inside on this one here all right back to our solid block and we're going to put one skip one put one skip one put one skip two and put a slab and it should be right in the middle of this cobblestone block right here and then we're going to go across the top and connect do the same thing on the other side solid block skip one solid block skip one solid block skip two and then a slab and then up through the middle connecting those just like that go back to your solid and we can just pull that right down the middle and just keep pulling that back because eventually we're going to get that back to the end anyways all right right here we're going to put three and we're going to put three and that'll make it much easier to put the stairs on this time wrapping around just like that one straight one forward one back again so it looks just like this from the side 
All right, back to your solid piece, and we've got the same pattern. Solid, skip, solid, skip, solid, skip two, and put a slab, and then connect back through. Same thing on the other side. Solid, skip, solid, skip, solid, skip two, and then slabs back through. All right, finishing out the back, we're gonna do three wide, solid, and by eight. So we've got one, two, three, and then we're gonna go back by eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should stop right there. We've got upside down stair pieces on the outside of that. Got one right here, and same thing on the other side. And one right there. And we've got, take one off the back. There we go, just like that. She should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Solid block stair solid block in between those and then a half slab to finish it out and trim it up nicely all right next layer is really easy we're going to put a block right here upside down stair piece here and an upside down stair piece here three pieces of fence one two three and then one going out one two three and one going out go back to the middle grab your stairs skip one spot and go one two three go back to your solid and go behind that one two three four five six seven go behind that five one two three four five and it's 23 solid blocks from this one right here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three go straight across and make it solid from here all right switch over to your stone bricks and go eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight Fill that in solid. All right, we're gonna go two more behind that, two more behind that, and then two more here, and fill this in solid. We've got upside down stair here, upside down stair here, and then slabs to trim out the back. All right, guys, back to the front, find the center, and we're gonna put three blocks right here. So we're gonna go back by one, grab your fence, and put here and here. And then upside down stairs, stone bricks on the outside, just like that. Back to your solid, and we're going to go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, switch back over to your another brick and take that back to the other stone brick section. Right there. Same thing on this side. Fill that up by one. All right, back to your solid piece. We're going to put one here. Whoops, solid piece. One here, one here, inside, inside. All right, and then right here in the middle, this is where your fire is going to go. So we can go ahead and light that up. All right, and then just take some coal ore and fill it in behind. Again, this is non-critical. You can put in however many pieces you want. That's about what mine looks like right there. All right, go back to your slab, and right behind here, we're going to skip one, put a slab, and then put a cobblestone, and then a seat on top of it. So it looks just like this. And the same thing on the other side. We're going to skip one, put a slab, cobblestone wall piece and then a cobblestone stair just like that all right back to your solid and two pieces here and two pieces here all right and then the rest is just stairs going forward and when you get right here just turn the last one in just like that same thing on this side And that finishes out that layer. Our next layer is really, really simple. Stone bricks across the front, cover that up. Build this up by one. Go back to your solid nether brick and run that all the way to the back here. Stop right there. And stop right there, build this up by one. Build you up a little wall here in the middle. Throw some more coal on the inside if you want to. All right, we got one piece out and then a stair piece going that way. Same thing on this side here. We've got a solid piece coming out, and then back to the stair piece. Grab three pieces of stained glass. One, two, three. One, two, three. Back to your solid. One here, one here. One here, one here. Same thing in here. And then upside down stair piece facing the back. Like right. Oh, I'm missing one right there. All right, so it should look just like that. All right, back to the front, put a solid piece here, and then the rest are stair pieces, and just wrap them around the corner. 
and around this side. And that is where your bell is going to go if you're going to pull in the head. <laughs> you sickos. All right, go back to your solid pieces, cover this in, grab some slabs, put one on the second block in just like that, take it back out, and put in four pieces right there. All right, solid pieces all the way back. Again, to right here, build this up, go across the middle, and then pull this back to right there. Pull that across and cover up everything in the middle right here with slabs. And on mine, I've got five, one, two, three, four, five empty. And you're going to cover up most of this anyways. <laughs> got a little crazy there, guys. <laughs> All right, finishing this out here. We've got a solid piece here, and we've got a solid piece right here. Back to your panes of glass. And finish out with solid pieces. And take these out right here. You just have one block high right there. All right, back to the front and let's finish this out. All right, we got a solid piece here right in the middle and then we've got some cobblestone wall piece on the edge here and here and then two pieces going forward just like that. And again, that's where your bell is gonna hang right off of that block there. Stone bricks right behind that. And then we've got slabs on each side of that here and here. I've got two pieces of mossy cobblestone just like that skip one and then put one and then solid pieces down the side one two three four one two three four one layer of stone brick slabs behind that we got three stair pieces going the other way so we can just go ahead and set one off to the side right here grab that one destroy that one put three all right turn that and then we've got that five two two three four and five and then go back this way and back this way. All right, you can grab some slabs and you can either put them on the bottom or you can cover up on the top. That's up to you, however you want it to look. All right, we're gonna skip one spot and then we're gonna put two. All right, we're gonna skip two spots and on the third, we're gonna put stairs just like this and do the same thing, two, three, four, five, and a forward. Again, you can either leave these down or you can pull them up to the lower hitbox or go ahead and cover them up. Choice is yours. And we're gonna skip one and put one right here back to your stairs and we're going to go right across here just like this three four five turn it two three four and two three four solid across the middle and take it back one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and take your slabs go up by one and cover that up and cover up on the outside with slabs so it looks just like that. is pretty much it for the challenger guys what we have left is you can put some signs on it you can put some numbers on it again don't forget your bell up front uh, I don't have my stair pieces or my fence posts on the side but you can go ahead and put those on they'll just connect in right here in front of the window so just right here you can start running your fence posts all the way up to the front again I forgot to put them on mine I am going to splice in the uh, the tender right here now we're going to do the tender car. It's not quite as bad. It's actually actually a lot easier. So let's just drop down right here behind the engine and keep on building. All right, right off the back for our coupler, we're going to have four pieces. Two, three, and four. So you should have four pieces total. One, two, three, four. All right, now we're going to go to our slabs and we're going to drop down here by one. So we can just either put one right here and then go down underneath that and get rid of the top one. And then we're going to go back 21 slabs. One, two, three. 20 and 21. All right, back to your cobblestone stairs, and we're going to put in some wheels, and we're going to have seven total. So starting right here, we're going to go backwards, back to back, just like that, and put in one. Skip a spot, and then do it again. Skip two spots, one, two, and then build the next set, and then continue backwards 
skipping one spot in between. And then build it up. All right, so you should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, next part's pretty easy. We're gonna grab a uh, solid brick and we're gonna put here, here, and here. And then right down the middle, hang over by one piece and then a piece of cobblestone wall just like that. Back to the front, we're gonna put an upside down stair piece here and one on the other side. <laughs> and I didn't copy the bottom part of my wheels. I just noticed that. All right, no big deal. We're just gonna put one on the lower hitbox and two just like this and then back down to your lower hitbox. Same thing on the other side. So we've got one on the lower, two on the upper, one on the lower, and that runs all the way back to the last wheel. Right there, same thing on this side. Whoops, to right there. All right guys, back to your solid piece and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do that twice. And then we're gonna run this all the way back to right here, just over the last wheel. Go straight back across that and go up the other side. And then cover up the wheels. And you can put a full solid bottom on this if you want to. I just left mine open, you won't see it anyways. Go ahead and fill that in and it looks like that. Grab your stairs and we're gonna go to the outside of this and surround the entire layer. And then wrap it around the back. And again, it should stop right here. All right guys, across the front we have regular stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the rest is solid just behind that. And then we're gonna put two on top of that. Or two layers rather. So there's one and there's two. All right, build those three layers up all the way around. All right, so it'll look just like that. And uh, don't worry, I'll go over the writing and all the uh, trim stuff at the end of the tutorial. All right, next layer is really, really easy. We're just gonna go ahead and cover everything up with stairs all the way around. All right, grab your slabs and we're gonna leave seven open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the eighth block, right across here and then make the rest solid. All right, back to your stair pieces and now we're just gonna turn them around upside down. So again, across the front, one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, and then turn it and go back, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then across here. Super simple, fill in the middle with coal. and then just surround the rest with slabs. And I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna show you the rest of the train. So after you get your slabs around it, go ahead and grab your fence posts and run them down the side. Leave the, this corner piece open, grab some fence gates and run them down one, two, three, four, five. Now this fifth one, kinda hard to set. You need to come up by two and then out by one. And then go ahead and grab your, whoops, <laughs> come up by two, three, and then out by one right here. And then you're just going to set, whoops, you're going to set these right here and open them. And uh, that takes care of the bottom one. As far as the white writing down the side, you're going to come in by one, two, three. And you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a spot and go one, two, three, four, five. And that's your Union Pacific down the side uh, opposite over here. Again, uh, we're up one, two, three and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And actually, this should be reversed. It should say Union Pacific. So just go ahead and count out your letters. I just did a, uh, an MC, uh, MC edit mirror and I flipped it over. So this should be over here and then that should be over there. No big deal. Same thing with your uh, gates here, uh, fence posts here, fence posts there. Uh, I've got some ladders down the back. Oops, if you wanna put those in straight up the middle. And then I've got some little ribs that go across the back here. So if you go in by, uh, there's your upside downs or your, yeah, your stair piece. Yeah, is that your stair piece? Yep, there's your stair piece. Go one, two, three, four. 
and then on the fifth one just go ahead and build it up skip two build it up skip two build it up and that finishes finishes off the tinder car uh, on the inside here all i did uh, <laughs> well they're gone i did an mc edit and i moved it i took some item frames and i just put two on the outside here and grabbed some compasses and put two on the outside it looks really really cool like it's got the you know the little gauges and then i've got some levers and that pretty much finishes out the inside we did forget to put the uh, fence pieces down the side so right here from this block the cell block just run them all the way down to the front right here uh, i've got a 3d texture right here for my torch you can put an item frame and a white block for another light piece really proud of this one it was tough uh, the steam locomotives are very very tough to build in minecraft i think i did a really good job and i hope you guys did too and got through it all right and really enjoyed this tutorial like always guys remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll catch you guys on the next one later